All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. So we're going to be looking at the Pixel 6a today. Uh, shout out to Team Pixel and uh, for sending this out. Let me check it out. I appreciate it. Look for lots of photos with this because I can't wait to test out the cameras. But let's go ahead and pop this open here. If you've been following along, you know, um, the Pixel 6a is a device that I've been really happy to check out because of the size. I'm always big on... Um, small powerhouse devices and whoa this is no exception this is this is a nice looking looking phone nice and compact i will be showing this next to the uh 5a 5g because that's to me that's the replacement this is the replacement for that and they're getting them tensor chips for everyone uh, so this is going to be pretty neat so you do have something that i'm really loving already which is the flat matte black size all around love this white and silver looking color this is just beautiful like a silver on the top and an off white down here but then again you know it's just got the black sides all the way around you got two ports down here for speaker and mic and then you've got a type c a microphone up top you've got a sim tray uh, on this side here and this side you have the power and volume now i'm i'm happy that the the power button is up top because i have large hands but that's the device and in here you get a transfer tool uh, uh you get a uh, transfer tool right here a type c cable uh and sim ejection tool and then a little bit of paperwork so i'm gonna go ahead and uh fire this up and and, and give you some first impressions uh, i don't i don't doubt that i'll be impressed with this or really my concerns are pretty much probably just going to be talking about uh, the differences and what's uh, hope hopefully it's a better experience um, from the pixel 6 some people are saying oh it's not just it's not a, a pixel 6 yeah, it's a pixel 6a which is a pixel 6 and it has the internals it has uh, pretty much 6 gigs of ram 120 gigs of storage and you've got ufs 3.1 so that's going to be some pretty quick uh, transfer times for those who keep track of that uh, but you do have the tensor uh tensor chip tighten m2 uh, and to me, that's what I think of when I think of a Pixel 6. But you've got a 6.1 inch display coming in at 20 by 9 for the aspect ratio. Uh, let's see if it's got some juice here. If not, I'll get it charged up. Looks like there's no juice, but we're going to continue. Oh, there it is. All right. Strong vibration. So this gives you some sense of the... Um, the uh, screen for the borders and i'll bring in the pixel 5a 5g and believe it or not folks this is definitely um a little bit more compact than the pixel 5a 5g and that's a welcome addition it's also boxy too so i wasn't expecting that uh but there you go and then to look at the back side of this this is what it's looking like really nice Looking really good. And then just for reference, here is the Pixel 4a. If you have a Pixel 4a, you can strike the deal of a lifetime by trading this in to Google through the Pixel Store or whatever and getting $300. And we know how old this device is. And it's still worth $300 to Google. That's impressive. But the Pixel, um, the Pixel 6a is here. I will get this all fired up. I will get it signed in and everything. And... Uh, we'll discuss, man. So let's let's uh, let's ride this train for a little while. I'm pretty excited about this one. All right, guys. I'll give you a quick walkthrough of the Pixel um, 6a. Uh, I've got all my apps restored and I've got it uh, kind of set up the way I would have it. Now, right off the rip, I'm going to tell you something. You probably can see it already that I do not like. I'm not able to have five across. I, I am totally not a fan of having four across at all this seems to be a new norm depending on the device and i'm totally not uh <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm not into this but that's a huge uh, you know dislike for me right off the rip but it's not it's not a game changer or anything like that it's just i don't like having four rows like this i went into everywhere um i tried to set it up to where you can get um uh you know five across but unfortunately you cannot even though this is 20 by 9, it just won't do 5 across. You can make the display smaller, but it still doesn't allow you to add anything. But if you guys have figured out a way, go ahead and tell me. So, uh, wow. Um, cameras. Obviously, Google has done a phenomenal job, job with cameras again. Uh, this is just a, such a, a beautiful device, man. I really like how they have got this set up. This is pretty much uh, just the, well, the way the Pixel 7 is and the Pixel 7 Pro. 
uh, it's, it's that new look. So I really like it. Got the little circle around the cameras. Now this doesn't have um, a telephoto lens, but it does have some digital zoom and that's good. And it does have an ultra wide lens. So that's perfect for me. Uh, but yeah, I, I, uh, I'm, I'm loving it so far. I did take a couple of photos. Uh, fingerprint reader definitely works different than the Pixel 6. That was something that I was really going to be checking for. So I'm happy to say, and I've been playing with this for quite some time now. It's been about an hour or so I've been playing with it and setting it up and, you know, charging up a little bit. But I definitely like it. It's a good size. And again, you know, the, the real thing is the replacement is for this device right here, which is the Pixel 5a 5G. This is the real replacement, and this is a really solid replacement. I mean, the fingerprint reader is is nice. It's shorter, obviously, because it's a more compact phone and a little bit smaller screen. But this is a really nice replacement. Now, something you can see that they definitely took away was the headphone jack. There's no more headphone jack anywhere on the device. Um, you know, that's that's just what it is. Uh, you know, it, it doesn't have one. I would prefer one, but there's nothing I can do about that. Can't do anything about it, so it is what it is. Uh, but ultimately, I'll give you a more detailed look at both of these uh, comparisons in another video. But this is just my first impressions of the 6A. So, I mean, again, I've already told you about the, the, the 4 across. I just really don't like that. But nonetheless, settings, everything is all here. Uh, it is all that you thought it would be. Very speedy, very quick and snappy device. Uh, it obviously has... Um, uh, 120 gigs of storage uh, and uh, I've got all my apps in there so I've got 13 gigs for the app and the system only uses 13 gigs and I think this is a huge plus because um, some of my other devices that have larger storages or about the same they use a lot more for the system but this better be low because it's Google they they, <laughs> they should not have uh, anything a whole bunch of system um, uh, taking up store system files taking up the storage so that that would be bad on them but Folks, this is it. This is this is this is the Pixel 6a. You're going to get uh, a nice, smooth, fluid device. It has six gigs of RAM, and this is this is what you would expect, obviously, from Google. And um, I just think that they're offering another compact device for another market. Uh, we have to keep in mind that um, everybody out there does not like a large phone. Now, obviously, I like big phones, but sometimes when I'm traveling, I like to have a compact device. It'll go easy in my pocket. And this device fits that bill. You've got stock Android. You've got a beautiful design here. I like the flat matte size. I just really like that. I think that's going to play well. And I like the color. I mean, last I purchased the, the Sword of Sage or Sword of Green, the green looking one when I bought the Pixel 6. Uh, and it was a beautiful color. But this color right here is absolutely really nice. The coral coral was a nice color too. I uh, wasn't too fond of the, the gray or black looking color. But I really like these lighter colors because... Obviously, it does well with fingerprints. So my first impressions of this, the hardware is really beautiful. The fingerprint reader works on, on every try. Uh, and I don't have any complaints at this point. So I'm really hoping that the Tensor chip um, does its thing. And um, once again, I appreciate Google uh, coming through, man, with the, the Pixel 6a. Uh, I appreciate, uh, and I'm never, never, uh, I'm always humble when it comes to getting products in for review especially a big company like Google having the opportunity to be a part of Team Pixel. Uh, you get to check things out a little sooner than later. So it's your man Jay. I will definitely follow up with a camera review. If you check my social media, Mr. J. L. Williams, you'll see that I've already probably posted uh, the first photo I've taken uh, with this device. I've only taken one photo, and, and it is a beautiful photo, I might add. So um, I hope you guys enjoy the first impressions. Uh, I'm impressed so far. This is what I'm talking about. This is really nice because you guys know, again, I really like the 5A, 5G. And uh, I think this is going to be a nice replacement. Remember, if you have a Pixel 4A, <laughs> you can actually trade this in to Google and get $300 and get your Pixel 6A. 5A, 5G is going to be here for quite some time. But I'm telling you, if you have a, a Pixel 4A and, you know, this is a major upgrade for you. Because you're getting, you skipped over the 5A, 5G probably if you still have this device. Uh, and you, you're getting a huge upgrade in design and you get an extra camera. You get a more powerful device. Uh, but nonetheless, we will be back in touch with you guys with more coverage of the Pixel 6A. Stay tuned. Team Pixel, beautiful gift from Google. I appreciate it. Take care, guys.